Welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan with Pilot Ryan Media. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you a really awesome flight of the Hangar 9 Aeromaki MB339. This is a video from Alabama. So at the beginning of the video, you're gonna see Alley Machine Chief work it out and get the buddy box set up. And then our friend Scott Settle is gonna take a check ride with Alley. So they buddy box this flight, they talk through it a little bit. And then there's some really cool information at the end where we talk about energy conservation with Allie, who is like a fantastic pilot and of course a designer of the aircraft uh, that's available at Horizon Hobby. Links to that stuff in the description. Also in the description, I want you guys to check out the check ride flights of Garrett being Garrett on his YouTube channel. So I'll put a link to the video and his channel in the description. And then I want you to check out Jeff in Lower Alabama's YouTube channel for Luke Short's check ride with Alan Machichi. So guys, thanks so much for uh, watching the video and we will see you in the next one. Enjoy. <laughs> Scott Settle, ha ha, ha, -ha. let's, let's do, do this. sensitive on anything we can tune it I've got two rates okay it's your air feel free you want to roll it loop it just tell me what's going on beforehand so I know if you follow you through we're going to do a circle first yeah, yeah. All right. See the speed build up? You didn't touch the power, yeah. but it built up that speed, the energy. Because they like just tools. Well, it's more, it's just pushing the airframe faster and faster and faster. More use of throttle. When you're going up, a couple of clicks of up throttle, you increase the throttle. When you're coming down, decrease the throttle. Get used to flying the throttle as much as you would the elevator or the rudder. Well, just like a real airplane. Yeah. yeah you point your nose towards the ground, nose towards the sky. Tell me if that elevator is too soft now. Okay. I think it's okay. Yeah? Okay. Come back down, sort of low pass. Pull up and do a loop. Power, 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 power. Look at the air. Excuse me. 
too slow, too slow. There you go, wait for the swing, too slow. Back round, try to loop the other way. The power on, let the speed build up. Look at the bigger picture, how fast the pain's not going on at that time. So power, power, power. Now begin your move. Too hard for two little feet, yeah. Okay, you're out. Okay. Got it. A little bit more power. Okay, right now, you're like everybody else. You're under, as your pressure rises, your heart rate rises, your vision tunnels, you're seeing just the airplane. Try and zoom out and see the speed that it's going or not going. That's a nice new speed right now. Nose towards the ground, a little bit less power. Nose up, a little bit more power. Got to do a little inverted fast, maybe. A little bit more power. Smooth on the elevator. Key 28, landing left to right. In the turns. Don't snatch it, don't pull it too hard, okay? There you go. Move it All about energy. I should say energy. It's easier to say more energy, less energy, more accurate. Right. How's it going to get it all? Can I cross it on me? Oh, yours. Stand on the wrong way. Uh, okay. Just go in before you get to it. Okay. Don't worry, I've still got one minute thirty. Okay. My time is accurate. That's just a bloody long time. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, awesome. Thanks.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank I got you, several dude. shots. I really appreciate it. No problem. You're getting it towards the end. I mean, it was. It was it's rushing. getting better. I mean, I yes. understand. You're I mean. learning the management. Energy management is the key. Mm -hmm. You know, downline builds up energy. You can trade that energy. It's not necessarily about the throttle. Right. You can do a lot with no throttle if you've got high build energy up. Correct. And vice versa. If you've got that energy built up, use it. Pitch right. up, pitch up, do something. Do something. If yeah, you've don't got it just on. keep going round and around and around because the energy will just get more and more and more. Things happen quicker, things become more stressful. Ultimately, it's worse on the airframe and you'll get to a position with any jet, you can overspeed it. Right. So, right, it yeah, sense. it's all about energy management. Okay. And, you, and towards the end of that, the last three circuits of that flight, I was hands off, we're not even thinking about That's it. That's awesome. So. I wasn't even thinking about it. And you're right, the tunnel vision thing happens because I was nervous. Of Natural. Let me let me ask you something, Ali. Sure. So, like for you know us EDF pilots who are looking to migrate towards something like this, I'm, in my mind I can't help but think one good way to really get used to that that language to start speaking that energy language would be to like try to stretch your EDF flights as long as you can by practicing. Uh, conservation is that is that something you would recommend I mean there's a safer way the problem with stretching it too long is obviously battery damage just take the whole flight and see how much energy you can use or more, more importantly how much flying can you do without the throttle that's yeah yeah so dive in you know but Viper 90 is a great example you do a fast burn apart pitch up throttle off and see what you can do on idle, knowing you've still got that power to go around again. So see if you can dive and do a roll or even a loop or stuff like that. But and yeah, turn yeah. the whole flight into that. Instead of three or four minutes of full bore burner passes, turn it into more like an elegant, graceful display of energy management. Right. So when, you, when you can, conserve, yep. right? Yep. And another thing I keep meaning to do is set up an EDF with a throttle slow on the throttle channel. Oh, it's yeah. a good turbine oh, trainer. Yeah. So you get the idea of the lag of power. We spoil it with EDS. We get bountiful power instantaneously, yeah. which isn't like that with a jet. We've got tons of power, but it takes a while to spool up. So maybe if you set a one or you know, one and a half second spool up time on a switch, right. so you could experiment with that on an EDS. Perfect. Way. Yeah, yeah, I think cool. that's a great piece of information. You know, practice with that. Anybody who's looking to get in the turbine. So it's not a surprise when you get there because not everybody's as fortunate to get to fly <laughs> with Ali. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. I'm telling you what. Awesome. Well done, Scott. Thank you. Great Thanks, job, y'all. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. If you made it to the end, you're a total boss. Wasn't that fantastic? This is a perfect jet for somebody who's got experience but is looking to get into turbines but wants a jet that has a real gentle character and is also very, very capable. Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you, Birmingham RC Association, for putting these shows on. Everybody be looking out for information for the Bigfoot Show coming up in October. I'm Ryan with Pilot Ryan Media. We appreciate having you here on the YouTube channel. And check out the links in the description to uh, Garrett's video for his check ride, and then Jeff in Lower Alabama's channel as well. I'm going to put links to all this stuff in the description as well as links to my social media so you can follow on short form in between these bigger videos. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.